Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we're going to be talking about the Assertio Holdings ASRT second quarter 2023 summary, in which we're going to be looking at the bullish and the bearish parts of that summary. And there is a lot of bullish and bearish parts to talk about. Today is the 4th of August, and so I generally follow small cap pharma. Um, I also do games. I do a little bit of mix of everything. So if you like what I'm doing, hey, please check out my channel and like and subscribe and thank you. Disclaimer is I have owned Spectrum in the past, which is now part of this company, and I might invest in this company in the future. I'm an amateur investor, and any advice given should be followed up by your own due diligence, and any information given is valid for today, the 4th of August, and this slideshow will not be updated. However, as new news comes, new slideshows. So, what happened? So, during the second quarter conference call, they announced that their lead product, Indicin, had its first generic competition. Uh, Indicent accounts for about more than 50 to 70% of their current sales. So this is a dagger in the heart for the company. Uh, definitely warrants the kind of drop they had. But the company has done stuff to kind of uh, buffer this a little bit. So uh, Assertio added a drug from Spectrum Pharmaceuticals into the mix to replace Indicent. Uh, those sales were 15.6 million in quarter one and 21 million in quarter two. So Indicent full year sales for 2022 was about 100 million. And it looks like the Spectrum drug will be close to matching. I'm, this is a personal estimate, 85 to about 110 million is what I'm thinking. So it's gonna be pretty close. So the generic threat. So it's a single generic approval. And my estimate is that we start seeing generic sales somewhere in the fourth quarter, 2023. This is based on the amount of money generic companies put into launches. So with these companies only getting about 5%, five to 10% of the total revenues, and Indicent is not a big drug, only about $100 million. Uh, they're not going to spend a large amount of money uh, to bring that to market quickly. So we normally see a little bit of a delay um, in approval and getting to market and getting everything done. Sometimes it can take a quarter or two, maybe even longer. Uh, again, like I said, when they're only looking to make 5 to $10 million a year from the drug, minus any of their other expenses, you, you don't spend it. You're not going to spend 10 20 30 to just bring it to market immediately. It's going to be a lot slower. So, however, when it does hit the market, like I said, uh, generics are a huge threat to those drugs. They just decimate them. So you can lose 90, 80, 70 percent of your revenue very quickly. And that's kind of how it goes. So, yeah, that's what they're looking to go against. So now I said that uh, Asterio had bought Spectrum. And if you look at the companies together, Spectrum had about $56 million in cash and carries a $5 million net loss that is of quarter one, 2023. That is the only information I will get because now Spectrum is officially part of the company as of the 31st of July. So this will not be updated until we see that in the third quarter. Uh, Sergio had $70 million in cash and carried a net gain of $8 million for a second quarter of 2023. So I'm thinking by the end of the fourth quarter, unless something significant happens, the companies will have about a combined amount of cash of 110 to 130. That is a personal estimate. Uh, with having that much cash, the CEO is still playing to acquire other drugs to kind of add to this, which I think they can do that. Uh, they do have one big debt coming due in 2027, but that is, I think, a 2027 problem at this moment. Uh, the quarterly report. So the quarterly report was unaudited. So I am just going to briefly go over it because we're not going to get a lot of the specifics that I would be looking for. Uh, they stated about 40 million total in sales. However, I do expect Indicent to be about 50 to 75 percent in quarter one. It was 73 ish percent. So I'm expecting something similar. They did 8 million in net income. So they did actually make positive money, which is such a shame that you had such a terrible uh, news during the report and they had about 70 million in cash. So again, the big summary for this is overall, if it wasn't for the new generic threat, this, this stock would be reaching some extreme new highs. I think the report came out wonderful. The sales from the Spectrum drug are coming out also great. You know, the question for the future is, can Spectrum drug replace Indocin? And if your answer is yes, then you have a deal with the stock news today. Like this is an easy buy at that point. You think, hey, you know what? Tomato, tomato, they can be replaced, no problem then we should see this company go back to five or six without many issues. You're going to get that third quarter report. It's going to look glorious, and you're going to be like, I'm in good shape. Well, and if your answer is no, well, then you know how to play the stock because the stock is going to continue to lose money and just kind of go down from there. So, yeah. So I think that's a general overall good summary of what is happening today, what it can be looking like in the future, and like what the pitfalls are. 
And so hopefully this will help you make any investing decisions. And so thank you very much for watching and listening. And I hope you have a wonderful day.